Dude, for real though. Come on. Come on. Come on, dude. It's so nice. Alright, so what's going on, guys? My name is CG Build, and welcome back to another video. Today, we're looking at the first Alice board on this channel. And, dude, let me tell you, this thing's pretty good. Just saying. Hey. So what we have in front of us is the ACR Pro Alice Plus from Akko. This is a gasket mounted board, which does have a good bit of flex. I'll explain more of that because it's not what you think. It is the Alice like layout, so it does have that like space in between and it is crooked in the center, which I didn't know if I was going to be able to type on because it, it looks really unique compared to like a normal keyboard, but actually getting in front of me, it's so easy to type on and I actually prefer it more after I got used to it after a couple minutes. Looking at the keycaps, they are ASA profile, that's from Akko. They're made of PBT and these are the set blue on white. Keycaps alone, they look really good. They, I mean, they're just like every other Akko keycaps. And speaking of keycaps, inside the box, you get a lot of value. Just like all the ACR keyboards they have, they always come with another full set of keycaps, plus its own coiled cable. Plus, you get some extra stuff like their own tape mod. I'll explain that more in a minute. Need some more case phone for it if you would like. Speaking of value, this thing comes in at $130, which is insane for how much you're actually getting plus the keyboard itself. Switches included for this one is the Akko CS Silvers, which if you know me, I love these CS Silvers. Probably some of the best stock switches I've tested in a long time. Now, I have found some other ones, as you can tell from my other video, my dream keyboard build, but CS Silvers are really good. Flipping over the keyboard, you do see that it does have a weight and it is like its own custom art. Looks really good. You got the Akko little guy there then you have some switches and it, sh it just looks so unique it looks so good and yeah that's pretty much the whole thing it has a polycarbonate plate which thank god it's not aluminum i like polycarbonate i don't know who would pick aluminum over polycarbonate anyways case material is acrylic cnc now this is the spray painted white version and it does look pretty good just like the echo pc75 i said in that video that it feels way more high quality than what it is and same goes for this one it just looks so good now they also have the transparent acrylic one which does look really good i i'm a big fan of that one as well but just having this i think it's called like spray painted white this one just looks so good it just looks full by full i mean it just i mean it just looks like a thick heavy board which i mean it is pretty heavy because of that weight back there but just i love a heavier keyboard because it just it makes it feel more qual high quality go ahead and look at the stock sound test Now, as you can tell, it's pretty good stock. I'm one of the best stock keyboards out there, in my opinion. But, of course, I'm going to do at least one mod to make it better. And, of course, switch out the keycaps and switches, just like this, you know. Just because it's CG build, what else am I going to do? Now that we're done with going over the whole keyboard, it's time to open it up and see what it has to offer. So, once you take off the 12 different screws that are hex screws... <sighs> There's a lot here. You open it up and it is completely hollow, which is okay because, I mean, there's, I mean, it's gasket mounted. It's not even touching the back of it anyways. Looking at the gaskets, it's, it's not like the gaskets are really doing much. They're actually really hard. But the reason why it has so much flex is because of the cutouts. Cutouts where the gaskets are, it just makes it to where it can just flex where it bounces way more. So with acoustics wise, it is pretty nice because it's not, it's like not all connected and touching, but at the same time, it, it does have a good bit of bounce, which I haven't reviewed a gasket on a keyboard with a good bounce in a long time. So looking more at the plate in the PCB, like I said, the plate is polycarbonate, which I love that. Makes for a good sound profile. Then the PCB is pretty standard. I mean, it looks good. In between you have a silicone pad. I forgot what it's called. That's usually what they've been doing recently with Akko. And I kind of like it because it does help with the sound a good bit. Then you also have this pour on uh, foam in between, which does help a good bit for sound as well. I love that they're adding more stuff into it. Just makes it more customizable because you could take it out if you would like or you can add more in. I love that. Now I tried to use the tape kind of mod that they provide with it, but it doesn't fit the whole thing. Like it left holes at the top row and the bottom so it was like only in the middle and it was weird i don't know <laughs> i don't know why that was that so i decided not to use it because i did rebuild it with that configuration and start typing it was just inconsistent i don't know why why not make it thicker like make it to, to where it's the dimensions of the thing i don't know 
I did use my own tape mod and I did two layers for this one. How you do the tape mod is you get some tape, unroll it, you get some painter's tape so it won't catch on fire or do anything. Put on the back of the PCB, cut off all the extras and then you're good. And it usually makes it sound more deeper. Next we're going to be putting in new switches. My new switches, these are very new. These are the new Echo Palm switches. They are not out at the moment. At least whenever this video is uploaded. But they might be depending on when you watch it. If it is before they come out, you can go ahead and go into the description and pre-save them. Pre-add them to cart so that you can get them when they first come out. The ones we're going to be using are the Palm Silvers. So just like the name, it is fully made out of Palm. I do like that material because it just makes them sound better usually. That's, what, that's the material of the switches that I have in my board. These switches have a longer stem pole. So that because this is a north facing LEDs and because I want to use cherry keycaps. Could have interference. But because we're using a long switch pole, it majority of the time never has any interference and I can say right now there is no interference with this one so hey it worked and I did not lube them because I want to make a video with me uh, doing because there's way more variations of the palm switches so I want to do a whole video with those so I didn't lube them yet but these switches are very good stock went ahead and put them in and now just looking at it first off it looks pretty good but now it's time for the keycaps keycaps I went with are some unreleased ones from Canon Keys the 9009 dark version now this set is classic that 9009 has been around for a long time so um, just having the dark version here from Canon Keys and they're just they're coming out very soon when this video was uploaded they might be out depending when you watch this once again Kenny Keys does a great job with their keycaps thick legends pretty smooth texture to the touch and all around just great quality I, I love them go check in the description so you can go look up Kenny Keys and help me out yeah just taking a minute to admire this thing dude it is so nice once again my first Alice keyboard on the channel and it's a pretty good one now I will say stock I would have been happy with this thing I mean it's just good me customizing a little bit it does sound and feel and look really good as well. But now it's time for that sound test. So, what do you think? I, I think it sounds pretty good. The board just, uh, just so nice. I love this thing, just the way it looks, especially with the weight on the back, with the, the custom art. Then you have the keycaps that just bring it all together. The switches, like you heard, they're really nice. No interference issues, and all around, it's just, it's, it, uh, it's so nice, dude. Would you buy this keyboard? Let me know. Uh, and what, would, what kind of keycaps would you put on it? I think the tape mod did help the sound a little bit. I mean... Don't get me wrong, it didn't really need it, but I think just that extra deeper sound just really gives in that punch of just a good sounding keyboard. Oh my gosh, dude. This is so nice, dude. I didn't know if I was going to like the whole, like, Alice keyboard just because I knew it was going to take me a little bit to get used to. And because it is longer and I do play games like this and I do this with my mouse, when I flick to my left, I'm, I'm just going to hit it. So I do usually like a smaller board. So for gaming, I don't know if I could use this, but for typing, I did find that it is a lot better for me for typing. But yeah, I had a great time with this build. Hopefully you did as well. Um, uh, go ahead and like the video if you did enjoy. Um, subscribe. We just hit 32,000 subs. What are the odds, dude? Keyboards. Get me this far. <laughs> yeah, that's the end of the video. I had a great time and hopefully you did as well. Go check out some of my other videos. I have a lot of different keyboard builds and stuff like that but yeah uh that's the end of the video now we'll see you in the next one dude i gotta stop <laughs> i can't help it dude this is an addiction i do this all the time i just